Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to password protect the page and customize the actual password form itself. So let's go into this page. I'm going to go to edit page up the top. And let's password protect this page and to do that you want to go up to make sure you're on document. You want to go down to publish and just above you'll see visibility public. Click on the public and you can choose to password protect it. Put a password in it. I'm just going to make mine D2020. Same name as the site. You want a fairly secure one. That's not the most secure, but for my site it's offline. That's fine. Okay. Now we've done that. Password protected. We need to update. Now let's preview the changes. And there it is. There's the password protected page, but there's not much to it. We've got this sort of little form that's squashed up to the top here. It's okay, but it just doesn't look very good. Let's change this into this, where we've still got our form. We've got our password field very visible there in the submit button. And we've made it full width as well. And it's pretty easy to do with a bit of custom CSS. So let's go into this page. I'm going to right click. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. I'm going to right click on the form and hit inspect. That brings up our inspector here. Now let's see what this form's actually called. I think it's right there. There's our whole form. So I'm going to click on it. It's ET password protected form. What do I want to do with it? Well, I want to give it a bit of padding all around it so you can actually see the form and it's not touched up against the size like it is at the moment. So we'll see padding. 100 picks. That's better. You can see it a little bit better there. Uh, I want to make the whole thing full width so it's not just a scrunched up on the page like that. So let's make the height. I should say full height rather than full width. We'll make the height 100 viewable height. So on any device, it'll be 100% of the viewable screen size. So we'll say height. And we'll give it colon 100. And I'll put this CSS below the video, VH of viewable height. There we go. Now our page is actually the full size of the screen there great and you can give it a different background color if you want to if you've got a theme going on on your site just say background make it light blue or whatever color you particularly want to make it everything's perfectly legible there I think I'll make mine a little more boring than that I'll make it a sort of a gray color which is and you can use hex codes, whatever color you choose for your site. There we go. I think that's perfectly legible there. And of course, we can put in our password right there. Great. So to make this permanent, we need to copy our CSS and write it into the site. Because if I refresh now, this will all disappear. It will revert back to how it was. So the first thing we need is the class name. We'll take ET password protected form, double left click on that, control C to copy. Let's go to our dashboard, down to Divi, to the theme options. Bottom of the general tab, you'll find the custom CSS box. This is where we want to write our custom CSS. It's also available in the customizer itself, but we're using this one today. I'll give it a little heading in case we want to find it again. Forward slash, star star, forward slash. Anything that's written between the stars will not be read as code, so we can use it for titles. Now, if we go down, put in our class name, because it's a class, we need to put a period before it, so it's period and then the class name that we copied. Open and close some curly brackets. And within those brackets, we want to copy and paste the code that we actually wrote there, which is this right here. A 
and we'll just paste that between the curly brackets here just to demonstrate what I'll do before I save this if we, there's a save button at the bottom as well as the top on this page for convenience before I save it I'll refresh this page and you can see with Google Chrome when you write it here it's non-destructive so it'll go back revert back to the original when I do this there it is there's our original with it all sort of squashed and I mean it's functional but it just doesn't look too good now if I save this once we've got our little green check mark let's go back to the page and refresh and it should be our custom form now there we go and let's just make sure it's going to work on all devices so again I'm using Google Chrome I'm going to hit F12 to bring up the inspector let's take this down a little bit don't need to see all that over here we've got a device toggle so I'm going to click that to on there it is on an iPhone that's fine you can put your password in there no problem at all let's have a look at it on an iPad again that's absolutely fine let's bring it up to full size plenty of room to type their password and submit so we're good the only other thing we might want to do is change customize the button and to do that we can do that in our theme customizer let's just close this out let's go to our dashboard again this time we'll go to theme customizer it's divi and then theme customizer once it's loaded let's go down to buttons and we can set a button style we can overwrite this with custom buttons on on each site text color let's make that white background color we'll make that purple just for argument's sake border color we'll make that purple too don't want an icon so I'm going to take the icon off I'm going to set that to no okay make sure our border color is purple there take the opacity up because at the moment the opacity was all the way down on that background color it's great let's just back up a little bit and set the hover style text color I'll make white still background color let's make it blue this time and the same with the border color border color we'll make that blue on a hover too and again the opacity is all the way down there I want mine all the way up so check on the color and pull the opacity slide all the way up for a full solid blue let's publish our button now okay well let's go back to our login page and see if it's changed our button there there we go and when I roll over it it changes to the blue so that's how to customize your password protect form I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day